Hello everyone, Squared Circle Wrestling is back with another episode which includes Drew McIntyre quitting WWE, Ella Knight expected to receive mega push in WWE, Dave Meltzer says CM Punk can be back with AEW, Selena Vega hints potential CM Punk return to WWE, Booker T feels former WWE champion could sign with AEW, Party B wants to come to WWE, and much more. You can check the complete list with time chapters in the description box below. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all the latest news. Our top story for today looks at Drew McIntyre quitting WWE. Former two-time WWE champion Drew McIntyre is one of the biggest star in the company today. Even though the Scottish Warrior is back on WWE television programming, it appears that McIntyre still hasn't renewed his WWE contract yet and probably will be walking out of the company. According to the latest word from Ringside News, Drew McIntyre is not any way near to sign a new deal with the company. It was noted, Drew McIntyre has yet to sign a new deal with WWE, and there is no indication he will do so anytime soon. Drew's current contract is nearing its end, and it's still unclear whether the plan is to keep him around or not. We will have to wait and see whether Drew will end up signing another contract with WWE, or if he will take his skills elsewhere. Next up, Chris Jericho details conversation with CM Punk at AEW All In. Former AEW World Champion Chris Jericho, on his latest Talk is Jericho podcast, spoke about his interaction he had with CM Punk at All In in London. He said, I don't want to dwell on this or talk about it but I should address it. Of course, CM Punk no longer with AEW, and Wembley was his last match, what a way to go out. I did talk to him briefly. I was going to do a Frankensteiner off the top and I know that he does that sometimes so I was just curious if he was doing it. I went and talked to him for a bit and asked him if he was doing it, he wasn't. Then I told him I was going to do the GTS with a straight face and I think for a second he thought that I was going to and I was joking. Of course, he added, I did see him that day and once again. It's a regretful moment what happened but Tony Khan made his decision. Like I said, CM Punk was a big part of AEW for the time he was here and if you're going to go out, he went out on top, for sure. Next up, Ella Knight expected to receive mega push in WWE. Ella Knight is perhaps the most overstar with the fans in the company today, and the fans also wants their favorite star to succeed in the company. Dave Meltzer, on the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, noted that Ella Knight is set to get a mega push in WWE. The company realizes what kind of strong reaction he gets from fans, and they are not going to let that go. It was noted, Ella Knight is expected to get a mega push going forward given that the ratings for his segments and his merchandise sales have both been very strong. The crowd reaction alone would help you but in many cases if WWE thinks it's a fad and there isn't economic indications they only take crowd reactions to a certain level. But with Knight, the success is across the board. PW Insider also reported the company is renegotiating his deal for as long as another five years. Next up, Eric Bischoff shoots at Jack Perry. AEW president and general manager Tony Khan announced last Sunday that Jack Perry had been suspended indefinitely for his backstage altercation with CM Punk at All In. Former Raw general manager Eric Bischoff, speaking on his 83 Weeks podcast, blasts at Jack Perry, saying his actions warranted harsher consequences. He said, just cut the guy Perry loose. First of all, you're talking about a thimble full of talent to begin with. He's really only there because his dad was a soap opera star, that's it. Otherwise, he's making $200 a night on the indie circuit somewhere. This guy is not a star, he'll never be a star. By virtue of the fact that he thinks using real glass is going to get him heat, it should tell you everything you need to know about his potential. He doesn't understand the very fundamentals of the business. Next up, CM Punk's WWE return in Triple H and Nick Khan's hand. Following Punk's firing by Tony Khan due to a backstage altercation with Jack Perry at All In, rumors broke out about CM Punk potentially returning back to WWE. Dave Meltzer, speaking on Wrestling Observer Radio, gave his thoughts on CM Punk possibly making his return to WWE. Meltzer believes that Punk's return to WWE is solely Triple H's and Nick Khan's decision. He said, It's Paul Levesque's decision and Nick Khan's decision. I don't know what they are going to do. If you listen to what people say, they don't want him back. But that doesn't mean they don't want him back. That just means, you know, he didn't leave on the best of terms and people didn't like it. But there is still a chance to make money with him. I can see it going either way. He added, at the end of the day, it's going to be what those two guys think. I don't know. I could easily see him saying no, but I could see him saying yes. I know historically with Vince. Well, Vince did say no to Punk a couple of years ago, but that was a different situation. If it was Vince now, or the old Vince under this circumstance, for sure he's taking him. He took Ultimate Warrior when he was going to go to WCW. You know, the old Vince, I don't think there was anyone that he wouldn't have used if that person could make him money for disciplinary reasons or whatever. Would you like to see Punk in WWE? Let us know in the comments below. Next up, Booker T feels former WWE champion could sign with AEW. 
Ever since the former 11 times world champion Edge wrestled his last contractual match for the company, there have been a lot of rumors of him showing up in AEW. The rated R superstar had his last contractual match against Sheamus on SmackDown in his hometown of Toronto last month. The bout was officially the last one on the Hall of Famer's WWE contract. Since then, speculation has been rife that he may refuse to sign a new contract and sign with AEW. WWE Hall of Famer Booker T, speaking on his Hall of Fame podcast, believes that there is a good possibility that Edge might end up in the Tony Khan's promotion. He said, it's a possibility, money talks. If you are sitting at home and there is money out there to get, you go and get it. I do know that if anyone could make it happen, it's the con man. Next up, Selena Vega hints potential CM Punk return to WWE. WWE star Zelina Vega fueled rumors and speculation on social media last weekend, as she posted a tweet of nothing but a red X emoji. The tweet was published just hours after CM Punk's AEW release was announced. The former women's tag team champion Zelina Vega, speaking with Newsday's Alfonso Castillo, gave a clarification on the cryptic tweet, which many saw as a nod for return of Punk as he often uses the red X symbol. She said, I wish him the best. Would it be great to see him again? Absolutely. There's so many reasons why I would like to see a Punk return. Not just for me, but for the fans. Selena clarifies the red X symbol tweet by saying, Ray had this jacket on during our entrance, and he put a big red X on Dominic's face, because his face was on the jacket. And that became the thing, putting a big, red, X on Dominic's face. So that was something we were going to run with. Next up, Eric Bischoff slams Dave Meltzer for lies about CM Punk. Former WCW president Eric Bischoff, while speaking on his 83 Weeks podcast, looked at another angle of the situation involving CM Punk all in incident. Bischoff said he believes nothing that Dave Meltzer had to say about the punk situation, and accused him of spreading lies. He said, I have spent a lot of time shredding and exposing Dave Meltzer for what he is. I am sick of hearing myself say it, but Dave Meltzer is horrible. Always has been, for the wrestling business. He added, I do believe that Meltzer is horrible for this industry, his behavior, his personality, the flaws in his character. For whatever reason, Dave seems to thrive by spreading rumor, innuendo, lies, call them what you want, and usually does so in favor of people he either has a relationship with or wants to have a relationship with. I didn't believe any of the nonsense that I heard out of Dave Meltzer with regard to CM Punk. Next up, Gunther and Chad Gable got a standing ovation backstage after WWE Raw main event. WWE star Cody Rhodes, speaking with the Dale JR, confirmed just how highly the WWE locker room thought of the bout which saw Gunther emerge victorious over Chad Gable, and cement himself as the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. He said, if you get a standing ovation in Gorilla, you've made it. Last night, Chad Gable and Gunther had this amazing main event, and they came back and there's nothing we can do but clap or that piece of business. Chad did amazing last night and I do hope that Chad finds the Intercontinental Championship. His daughter wanted to see that and have that moment. I felt bad because they sent me out after to raise his hand and I've got to do the dark match. He is an amazing athlete. Next up, Cardi B wants to come to WWE. WWE and celebrity guests have gone hand in hand over the years, with the likes of Bad Bunny and Logan Paul all leaving their marks on the company. There might be one more name about to be added to the list which is none other than the international megastar Cardi B. Cardi B is one of the most well-recognized female music artists in the world, and has long professed her love for pro wrestling and interest in working with WWE down the line. Cardi B, in a recent interview with Hot 97, was quizzed on the potential of a guest appearance at WrestleMania 40 next year in Philadelphia. She said, I would love to attend, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I have to perform or slap a bitch, but like I want to go. I have to fulfill some type of dream. I used to love wrestling, I used to be crazy for it. Would you like to see Cardi B in WWE? Let us know in the comments below. Next up, Dave Meltzer says, CM Punk can be back with AEW. It was announced this past weekend by AEW CEO Tony Khan that he had fired CM Punk following his backstage altercation with Jack Perry at the historic All-In Pay-Per-View. Dave Meltzer, in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, put forward a crazy idea in the event that Punk doesn't end up returning to WWE. He said, if WWE doesn't sign him, I wouldn't at all rule out AEW giving him another shot as crazy as that may sound today. For those same reasons, although that would be very difficult. If you draw money in this business at one point, people will always give you a chance to do it again. Would you like to see CM Punk back with AEW? Let us know in the comments below. And that is all for today's news. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel Squared Circle Wrestling for all the latest updates.